gonna let me put the feed in there. Hey guys, my name is Evan and welcome to Country View Acres. So today I got up this morning and first thing I've done today is I have moved the chickens and the ducks out here in these tractors and I was moving them at nighttime and I found that they wouldn't move with the tractor as easily. If I waited till the morning time when they were out of food and they were really hungry, I could pour a little bit of food in there and they would follow that feeder. And then what I've been doing is I'll move it about halfway and um, I'll give the time for the chickens to kind of make their way back around to the front of the feeder and then I'll move the ducks, I'll come back and move the chickens the rest of the way because um, they're just a little bit slow on figuring out where their feed went. Um, sometimes the, the trough <laughs> goes by in front of them and they're just like looking at the ground like where'd my food go. So uh, I give them a couple minutes to, to catch up and uh, I think that's working out a lot better because before I could not get them to really move, they'd all stay at the back of the tractor, they'd want to stay away from me pulling the tractor so they would all go to the back of the tractor um, so this is working out better first thing in the morning when they don't have any food they just they want to follow the food so the ducks um, you know a few more weeks the ducks will hopefully move out to the pond um, we want to make sure that the ducks actually are waterproof that sounds weird uh, they will put on oils on their feathers and the, the, the water will just kind of sheen off of them like a nice wax coat on your car and um, Actually, before we brought them out here, we wetted them down just to see. And they were just starting to beat up, but their feathers were getting wet. And we'll probably do a test, something similar to that. We'll probably, uh, we'll probably, they love water anyway. So they'll, they'll love getting sprayed with some water. And we'll probably do that to them and see whether the water wants to bead off of them and, and run right off. And once they get to that point uh, where they shed water really well, they can be on the pond. And then we'll move them out there. But everything else in this tra tractor here, most of them are all meat birds, meat chickens and meat turkeys. And I had a lot of questions last video. I guess I didn't really go over much of this stuff. So this is, this is Premier One poultry netting. We use the 48 inch tall poultry netting, netting. Never had any trouble with chickens getting out. I know that some smaller birds, uh, especially like some laying hens that are small, they'll be a lot more flighty and you, you'll get them jumping out. But most of our chickens that we've had have been either meat chickens or dual purpose, like heavy breed chickens. Well, they don't, they're not as flighty. They won't fly over this. In fact, the chickens that will fly out, they like to get up and perch on something and then fly back down. And with this netting, there's nothing up there for them to perch on. So never had any trouble with chickens getting out of it. And then I had people asking about the water. Um, the water is got uh, little water nipples on the bottom and um, you have to continually adjust the height of that bucket uh, as the chickens grow um, so that they can peck upward and that water will go right down their throat. And right now I've, I fill the water up in the morning and I have to fill it up again in the evening. And as far as the food goes, I'll fill it completely up this morning. And then in the evening time, I have to do another scoop or two in the evening. And by morning, it'll be completely empty. Um, so that's what we're doing out here with the chickens. Um, the chicken tractor itself is just basically to keep the chickens in. It's not to keep the predators out. That's what the, that's what the poultry netting's doing. And I know a lot of people are worried about hawks and stuff like that, but I don't think I'm going to have any issues. I don't think a hawk's going to try to get inside of the chicken tractor and because he would be afraid he wouldn't be able to get back out. And I've already got chickens free ranging over here. So if a hawk wants an easy meal, I would think he'd be going after the birds in the barnyard. But so we're also using a solar fence charger um, out here with this netting to keep it electrified. And um, there's really not an easy place to plug in a charger out here in a field like this. So a lot of times when you're out on in a pasture area, a solar fence charger just kind of works out good because it can be mobile with your netting. So normally before this, I would go let the barn animals out first. 
but there's actually a little bit of work I want to do in the barnyard before I let all the animals out. So let's go over there and take a look. Hey Simba, where you been? So we're back here behind the barnyard and all this grass has gone to seed and once it goes to seed nothing seems to want to eat it so they all they don't touch it it just keeps growing it's eventually what's going to happen is it's going to start to die and fall over and what I want to do is I just want to go ahead and mow this back down and and cut it back short and then it'll go back into that growth phase and um, make kind of like it'll start making fresh grass again I guess and maybe the goats and everybody will start eating it again but um, I'm just going to try to pull the tractor in here since the mower's still on the back of it. Knock this all down. I don't know if you can hear that. The cicadas are out and there's this hum in the background. And it's the cicadas. They've all come out of the ground the last couple weeks. Everybody, time to get out. So today is Memorial Day, and um, Rebecca ended up thawing out some ribs, some ribs from the pigs that we grew last year, and um, so we're gonna smoke those today, and that's what we're gonna have for supper. So I need to go get the pellet grill started up, and then she wanted to sit around the campfire tonight, and I'm thinking if we're gonna have a campfire. I'm gonna go ahead fix some baked potatoes in the campfire as well so I need to get the pellet grill started and I need to go get some firewood and get the fire pit all set up for tonight So I'm gonna go ahead and fire up the Alice Chalmers tractor. Haven't started it in a while. And I wanna get the blade off the back of the tractor and at least get the draw bar back in there so that it's ready for hay season. And then we'll go ahead and we'll just use this to go ahead and pick up the firewood.
been about three hours since I put them in here. They're looking good. Go ahead and wrap them in foil. I'm going to take a big piece of foil. Ooh, hot. All right, so it's been in foil for about two hours. Try to open this up without getting burnt. Pull apart. Oh, they're already wanting to fall apart. So we've taken it pretty easy this afternoon. Um, we ended up probably sitting on the porch uh, for an hour or so, just hanging out on the porch. And um, I ended up going and getting uh, a couple loads of tools, a couple uh, totes full of tools from the pole barn, moving them up here to the new workshop, just like the smaller hand tools, sockets, wrenches, screwdrivers, stuff like that. Slowly getting all my tools moved over to the new pole barn. And um, Rebecca did a little bit of fishing. And we ended up, uh, decided to throw those back in the pond, decided not to fillet them. And um, just pretty relaxing uh, day so far. So uh, the uh, baked potatoes in the fire, they're, uh, I just felt them, they're done, they're ready. So I think we're gonna go ahead and take the, the ribs, and those ribs are huge. Rebecca said that was a good size <laughs> set of ribs, and they're pretty good size. So I think I'll be taking ribs in my lunch this week for sure. But uh, go ahead and take the ribs and the baked potatoes off and then uh, we're gonna sit down probably out here at the picnic table and uh, relax most of the rest of the evening. So thanks for watching guys. I'll see you in the next one. All right, which part do you want? This end? Yeah. Like to here? Yeah. That's fine. Look at that. If I can get it off. Thank mm -hmm. you.